today I hired Kanye West to be the new head coach for the Buffalo Bills and decided to simulate in Madden what would happen if Kanye did become the head coach. Let's see if my glorious Pookie Bear can win a Super Bowl. However, to spice this rebuild up a bit, I decided to trade Josh Allen to the Washington Foreskins. I also traded wide receiver Stephon Diggs to the Kansas City Chiefs. And in return, I received Kadarius Toney. We decided to pick up Kirk Cousins to be our QB. Some other players like Braxton Berrios, Roger Goldblankenship, and drafted Paul Gizzi. Alright, so the roster's all set. There's our offense, here's our defense. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Um, gonna make Tamar Hamlin a starter, though, because plot armor. Yeah, no shocker here. This team uh, blows. This team sucks. We're 2-5 and five at the midway point. Honestly, could be worse. We do have three signed. Damar Hamlin, a.k.a. Plot Armor. He's important to this rebuild. Trust. I right, uh, Season 1, uh, we finished with a record of 7-10. and 10. Uh, We missed the playoffs. Uh, Kirko was horrible. But we did draft Paul Gizzi. And hopefully going forward... He will be our guy, and he'll be able to sling the rock with maximum efficiency, especially with all these offensive pieces we have and pieces we'll be adding in the draft and free agency this year and next year, and hopefully we can just win a Super Bowl in, like, the coming years. But let's get to next season, I guess. All right, we got some players to resign. Gregory Rousseau, uh, obviously got to keep him around. Uh, Kadarius Tony, hell no. Uh, all these people are bums, I'm not going to lie. They can all walk. They're not going to bring anything to the team anyways. Sean Pollard, him, we cooked in the draft officially. We didn't sign any free agencies, but we did cook in the draft at least. So, team is looking good. Let's hope for a good season. Defense is looking stifling. I can't lie to you. Um, I wish I could say the same about the offense. Paul Gizzi, cook. That legit is not cooking. We're currently 1-5. I don't know what the hell is happening, but we do have three sign James Cook. Uh, of course, because he's goaded like that. I'm not even going to lie. This season was uh, very disappointing all around. Every player just didn't really play up to what I expected. Paul Gizzi, trash. He was awful. O-line, awful. Receivers, awful. Every position was awful. Our defense, horrible. Uh, hopefully, Kanye can just uh, improve from here, though. Some riveting news is we draft Josh Anderson, a new QB, which will sadly be the end of the Paul Gizzi era as he gets traded to the Chicago Bears for some nice players. Our offense is pretty good. Our defense, pretty good. Well, at the midpoint season, we're pretty mid at 3-3. Three and three. End of the season, pretty mid, too. Um, just mid all around. QBs mid, offense, defense. Everything was just mid. However, in spite of this, we keep cooking in the draft. Pet Medlock, he looks insane. Pretty all right draft. But Greg Stump looks like the greatest player I have ever seen. So, of course, I, I had to, I have never seen this before. So, I just, I've never even seen a player higher than like an 88. It was worth it. He's a 90 overall as a rookie. So, this is what the team looks like offensively now. It's, um, the receiver core is a bit questionable, but I mean, outside of that, everything looks pretty good. Defense is pretty alright. Dave Bird's amazing. And we're awful again. Well, there's another season down the drain. We're moving up in the draft. We did trade some valuable players, but there's a receiver I really like. Angelo Wint. I need him. Let's get him. 96 speed is insane for a 6 foot 3 receiver. I mean, it was a pretty good draft, honestly. Can't complain. The team is looking good. Not great, but good. Maybe we could squeak in the playoffs this year. I mean, the offense looks good. Defense, I've seen better, but it's not horrible. I mean, three and four is not bad. You know, you'd want a few more games, but... Some big names here, though, to sign. Uh, Dave Bird, I mean, we just gotta pay him. He's back. And we finally did it. We're in the playoffs. It's against the Ravens, though. I'm ready. I think we have a good chance at winning. It's a big moment. Big moment here for Kanye and the Buffalo Bills. Their first playoff game, and it's coming against Lamar Jackson himself. Back in the day, this would be Josh Allen versus Lamar, but we just have different plans. This Bills team, it truly has just progressed over the last few seasons, coming from the slums.
basically. They were so horrible over the last few seasons. But it's all been for this moment. Can they win? I know my guys can do it. Lamar Jackson, he's a playoff choker. Man, he can't do it. My guy, he's going to prove it. That he is better and he can do it. Turns out he cannot do it. I know that the score looked close. It was, it was, we were down like three scores with like two minutes left. I don't know how it was that close. It was, it, we can, we can make some moves and just, you know, it's just a little push and that's all you need and then we're there. And I think I found what could be that push. Addison Gardner looks insane. I traded up third overall pick. He looks insane. I mean, he really just fills this offense in. I signed some free agents to really like put this roster together and I mean I just don't see how it doesn't succeed I mean we have everything if Addison Gardner can play to how he is I mean look at this defense we signed Chris Jones I mean it's oh my god this is our chance this signing right here is very important it'll come back later trust me remember this face and remember this name for later yeah, some sim. We're really good. Five and two. I can't complain. But we're not good enough. So I'm making a trade for Trent Kramer and a few other players to help out this team. We we've needed tight end for so long. Just get more secondary. Get rid of Jonathan Allen's contract. We do that. Tim Kendricks and same middle linebacker and Joseph, great safety. We get that done as well. I mean, this offense looks insane. The O line. I mean, where are the where are the holes? This defense, so good now with Kendricks in the middle. Great D-line. And we make the playoffs, of course. But, breaking news. Chris Jones is going to retire after this year. Which really closes this window. I mean, look at the stats. It, it was a team effort. Everyone played so good. But, yeah. Uh, against Miami in the wild card, obviously pretty close game fourth quarter and I mean what a breakup pass there by Williamson they're gonna end up taking their field goal here the kick is up and it is good they're gonna take a three-point lead we drive down the field though throw a seam route here beautiful ball and then cap it off with beautiful touchdown here leaving them barely any time obviously we're up to uh he looks he throws Nice little ball on the outside, but there's only three seconds left. It's going to come down to a Hail Mary. And I swear to God, if we somehow let up a Hail Mary, I would cry. Tua looks, scrambles, sacked, game. We finally win a playoff game. Kanye celebrating. Look at him go. What a great win. Due to injuries, we need a running back, so I picked up Joe Mixon. And now, it's time. Big game. Highmark Stadium. Another home game for Buffalo. The divisional round against who else but the big bad Texans. Coming all the way from Texas. This roster is one of the greatest rosters I have ever seen assembled. Started off a little rough. We were down 10-0. Okay, okay. We scored a field goal. And then we got the ball in the red zone here. And we came into we came into action here. Joe Mixon got the ball off the edge. He scores the touchdown. What a pickup. In for the injured running back. Joe Mixon comes in and he just he plays this way. And CJ Stroud! He's he's throwing to the wrong team! He's throwing dots to the apps. I don't know what he was doing there. Clearly he's not the GOAT. Unlike this man who's slinging, even though he's a rookie, he's throwing clutch touchdowns here in a playoff game CJ Stroud he's he's dumbfounded he's getting sacked in the backfield here there's 37 seconds left down seven CJ Stroud third and 14 he scrambles he looks he can't get away though fourth and 28 now Texans with the season on the line Buffalo could end it all here he has all day in the pocket he throws incomplete and Buffalo wins but with this, they move on to none other than their biggest rivals. Who else could it be for the Super Bowl than the Kansas City Chiefs? 
this is a game that could feed families for lifetimes. No Josh Allen though, but still Patrick Mahomes. But our rookie QB here might just be the antidote to all of this. Kanye is ready. He might be the pure madness that could stop the Kansas City Chiefs. Truly just take a breath as they go out for this kickoff. Nothing bigger in their lives than this. And nothing bigger than this lead that Buffalo has. Only a four-point lead in the fourth quarter. Minute 57. A first down. Practically ends it. He gets the handoff. He goes. He gets the first. Plowed. Doesn't matter. He gets the first. That's the game. Buffalo wins it. Close game. 24-20. So many Bills games have been like this. But heartbreaking news here. Chris Jones officially is retiring after the Super Bowl. The good news, though, Buffalo is going to the Super Bowl. I mean, this team is insane. Gardner, as a rookie, doing all of this is so impressive. And now the biggest, I mean the biggest stage against who else but the Detroit Lions. Two teams that have never won a Super Bowl competing today. We could be witnessing a true prodigy of a game. This could go down in history as one of the greatest games in NFL history if it lives up to expectations here. Two of the best teams in the league facing off in the Super Bowl, neither of which have ever won a Super Bowl in franchise history. A rookie quarterback leading his team all the way. Gardner has so much pressure on his shoulders, but can he prevail? Kanye, he's been through it all, clearly. But can he win the Super Bowl? I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's moving forward. Here comes the kickoff. Steven Fitzsimmons to return. You have to be ready for anything in this game. Justin Shields, the kicker, the kickoff. We are ready. Up 3-0, down 7-3, up 10-7, 17-7, 20-7. Lions score a touchdown, though. We score again. Lions score again. Lions are going to get the ball here. Five minutes on the clock, though. You never know what could happen here. They could drain the clock all the way out, take a field goal, win this thing. Our defense just has to end the game here. 21-23. Quick ball out. Caught. Gabe Davis, former Buffalo Bill, to run up the middle. First down. Lions could just drive and end it all here. The Bills at least want time, though. They can't stop them. Another good pick up there for the Lions. The Lions are just truly running it right now. He's going to pass again. Pressured. Gets it off. Gabe Davis over the middle. What a play. I mean, truly, what a play that was. Another snap. He looks. He ponders. He's going to have to scramble. Jump pass. Oh, my God. How did he get that off? Amon Ross St. Brown with the reception there. What a throw there. He's playing out of his mind here with the drive of his life to whoop potentially win the Super Bowl. He gets it out quick to the running back. He's plowed in the backfield. That's what you like to see here. Make a stop here. Make a stance. Give Buffalo time to score if they score. This is as what you want to see here. That takes us down to the two-minute warning. A field goal is all Detroit needs. Can Buffalo stop them here? The snap. It goes, it's a run, it goes nowhere though. He gets just slammed in the backfield. Great play there by Buffalo's D-line. If I'm Detroit, I would probably just run it. Ah, uh, they're gonna pass. He goes, caught! Over the middle, it's Cape Davis again. That kills Buffalo here. That's going to drain so much of the clock. 
They're gonna pass though. He goes end zone. It's almost intercepted. Oh. Oh, that could've, that could've, that could've been it. It was right to him. He just couldn't get it. That hurts. They're gonna play action. He's gonna get sacked though. And here we go now. The Lions, what do you do here? Third and 16, you probably just run it. Make Buffalo waste the timeout. They do. Up the middle. He's got space, though. He doesn't get the first down. Really close, though. Detroit is going to take their field goal here. Lots of time on the clock still for Buffalo. They still have one timeout. The kick is good. They take the lead. Buffalo is going to have a chance to score. Can the rookie Gardner... Can he put a drive together? He just needs a field goal. 53 seconds left. One timeout. There's plenty. They're going to return the kick. He's not going to go anywhere. That drained a little bit of time off the clock. I don't know if I agree with that choice there, but it's whatever, though. It's whatever, though. Here's the main man. Can he do it? If there's anyone to do it, it's him. He's going to scramble. He's going to look. He's going to throw deep. Oh, what a ball to Michael Wilson. What a play. Gardner, he takes the snap. He looks, throws quick to the running back. Interesting move. That, uh, they're going to have to call a timeout. They're not going to call a timeout. They get to the line quick. That's, the clock is going. There's barely any time left. Gardner takes the snap. He's got a throw. He throws quick over the middle. He goes nowhere. That was so stupid. That's going to make them use their timeout and have to throw a Hail Mary. This signing right here is very important. It'll, it'll come back later. Trust me. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's Skyler's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Skyler's gonna close the app. Slow you on! Oh my god, it's caught! Oh my god! 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 Oh it's Michael Wilson in Kings games. games! Is that Chris? Ma Michael, Michael Wilson in <laughs> Kings game. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I didn't know when I signed Michael Wilson at the half point time, he would he would do that. The the, the Bills, Bills call game. The Bills just won. The Bills just won an absolute miracle of a game. I can't believe what I just witnessed. I can't. Trust me. Neither can I. I cannot believe what just happened. I mean, wow. Michael Wilson. Michael Wilson. I told you earlier, he he was an important signing. You, I, I'm at a loss of words. I truly, honestly, I don't know. That was insane. We win the Super Bowl, though. Host that Lombardi High. Yes, sir. For the city of Buffalo. Good stuff, Kanye. Maybe I shouldn't say that, actually. Here are the stats. Addison Gardner played pretty good. Greg Stump got injured. What a career he had. And, I mean, he's really just ending it the way it really should end. On top. Really. On top of the world. World champs. Yeah, he did it. Good for him. Congratulations. And good night. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I have.